I'm Laura GB and today we're going to look at making a chart title dynamic as to how far you've drilled down. Let's get going. Right, first thing, create our chart. So I'm going to go for a stacked column chart. Let's move into the centre and make it a little bit bigger. And onto that chart, we're going to, into the axis, I'm going to put year, and I'm going to put month, and I'm going to put day to allow for the drill down. For the value, I'm going to use a measure called total sales. So there we are, we have our chart. Let's go in and change the title size so that we can see what's going on. I'll change the font to a dark colour, make it centre aligned and up the text size so we can see it. Right, so if I now click the drill down button and I click on one of the columns, it drills down to the months. I click on a month and it shows me the sales for every day of that month and I can drill back up again and you can see the title changes but what it doesn't show you is it doesn't show you which year you've clicked in so if I click on 2018 I can't tell that's where I've clicked and if I click in October you can't tell that the year is 2018 and it's October you're looking at so that's what we're going to change so I'm just going to drill up to the top level again and now we're going to create a measure that is going to be used for the title. So click new measure and into my measure I'm going to call it chart title and we're going to break our chart title down into some separate parts just to make it clear and easy to read what's going on. So let's have a variable called year part and this is going to be based off a selected value. Now the selected value will pick the value that's been picked so I'm going to go for calendar year and the second parameter is if there isn't a year been picked or multiple years have been picked what do we show? So I'm going to put into there all years and close brackets. So now I'm going to press shift return, put a new line in, put in the word return, shift return again and we're going to put total sales for and then an ampersand to bring in the year part. So then we're going to press return, make sure that's OK. Click onto my chart to hide away the formula bar by clicking on something that's not calculated. And on my chart there, we're going to, in the title, in the title text box, I'm going to do a right click and there's conditional formatting. So click onto there. And the only option you've got is format by field value. There isn't anything else on that drop down. The next one down is the one you have to pick. So click into there and I called it chart title. So there we go. Pick the measure and click OK. So there we are, total sales for all years at the top level. And if I click on 2018, there we are, I get total sales for 2018. If I click on a month, I'm not yet showing the month. So let's go back into our measure and let's fix that part. In order to calculate the month part, we're going to add in another variable. So we're going to put in a month part. And this time, I'm not just going to use selected value. I'm going to wrap it in an if. OK. The reason being is I don't just want the selected value. I need the month to be followed by a space to make it read right. So the test we're going to do, the logical test for my if, is is the month column filtered? Okay, so is it filtered? So we're going to pick the month column, put a comma in, so the result if true on the next line is going to be the selected value. 
in the month column. And I'm going to add on to the end using an ampersand a space so that there is a space between the month word and the year. And then I'm going to, if it not, it, let's get it right, if it is not filtered, so there's no month filtering down, we're going to return an empty string. So that's my if statement written. Now I'm going to go and change the return to before the year part, we're going to ampersand in the month part so that we will get total sales for November 2018. So let's press return on there. Select another column other than the measure to hide the formula bar. And there we are, we get total sales for October 2018. If I drill up, total sales for 2018, drill up again, total sales for all years. And there we go, we can see it working through any of the months. So in this video, we've looked at creating a dynamic title for a chart that is using drill down. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.